<laughs> oh, that is just cheesy ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I just picked up this beautiful foot-long meatball sub from Costco. I'm excited to give it a try. Let's take a look. This is a beautiful sub. It is loaded with massive meatballs, what looks like some Parmesan and provolone cheese. Comes on a foot-long ciabatta roll. I always love Costco's ciabatta bread. Two little containers of marinara sauce for dipping. This comes in at almost two and a half pounds of food, 2.41. Costs a little bit over 14 bucks. Heating instructions, wrap it in foil, bake it at 375 for 30 minutes. So let's get this guy in the oven, see how she looks. I've got this on a foil line tray. I'm just gonna gently tint it with aluminum foil. I'm not gonna wrap it tight. We'll see how that does. Into the oven at 375. While we're waiting for that sub to heat up, just a couple random facts about the sandwich. The first, I tried looking up the nutritional information, couldn't find it anywhere. That being said, if you're eating a meatball and cheese sub, you ain't caring about the nutritional information, so throw that one out the window. Second thing, I saw some folks on Facebook complaining about the price, saying 14 bucks, you know, that's a whole lot more expensive than Subway. Yeah, sure. Go eat that Subway sub. I'm gonna eat my Costco sub for 14 bucks. It's a great price. Last thing to know is the meatballs are made from beef and pork. So if you're someone who doesn't eat pork, you better skip the sandwich. I just pulled the sub out of the oven. It smells really good. Let's take a look at it. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that is just cheesy ridiculous. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm talking about. So let's just take this part right here. And I'll figure out the rest of this later. Let me show you what I got going on here. So I got a section of the whole sub. But before I try that, I'm going to try it in pieces. I've got a piece of the bottom crust, a little piece of the meatball to try by itself, and a piece of the top crust. First thing I'm going to notice is uh, got some aluminum foil sticking to the bottom here. That is my fault. The instructions said to line the bottom with a piece of parchment paper. I didn't have that. I used aluminum foil. This sticks to aluminum foil, wouldn't stick to parchment. So pro tip there, use parchment paper if you have it. You can use aluminum foil if you don't, but hey. Anyhow, let's see how it tries. Nice, crunchy, flavorful, moist bread. Give this meatball a try. It's okay. It's not amazing. It's a well-seasoned meatball. It works. And last up, the, the top of the bread. Let's give that a try in the marinara. Pretty consistent. All of it is, it's okay. Not delicious, not, not earth shattering. It sure is a lot of fun though. I mean, here's the whole, whole thing at once. Hmm, really works well together. A delightful sub. Absolutely worth 14 bucks. I can get three meals out of this easy. Do a little more dip there. What do you think? Should the marinara be cold? Should I heat it up? The sandwich is already hot. Having the, the contrast with the cold, cool marinara, oh, that's where I like it. I absolutely love the melted cheese around the side. This is, this is almost more of a cheese sandwich than a sub sandwich. What can I tell you? 14 bucks? It is some good eats. Worth every Costco penny. There you go. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.